Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> this is Buck's Moonlight Revival in for um, in for a visit. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good. You almost ready for Christmas? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready for Christmas. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're supposed to wait till the day before. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so you, are you are you both native Kingstonians? Uh, uh, well, I, I am. Caitlin sort of is. She's from born in Mississauga, but... But then got smart and got out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had the same deal. Okay. So now you're uh you're a big fan of the lo fi sound oh, yeah. of recording. Yeah. Um what is it about uh, cuz you recorded this in your living room. Yeah. Yes, okay. Um what is it about that that appeals to you other than the fact that it saves you a lot of money? Uh, oh, honestly, it doesn't save me money. It actually costs a lot of money. It, it's a, I could have just made. It could have just been like, well, we'll make the album on the computer that I already had. You yeah. Know, uh, that, that's the cheapest thing to do. But you, buying all these tape machines nowadays is so much money. Oh yeah, um, the outlay originally, yeah. as and opposed even, to going in and paying for a studio time. Oh, yeah. 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 But uh, I, it's honestly is a very uh, big, there's a loaded question. I guess I don't know. Uh, it's a uh, it's in, in one way I I find I really like the hands-on kind of like what you're doing with your mixing board and all that. Right. Stuff. It's like I like the hands-on versus using a mouse. Um, I always found that making music on the computer for my for myself it was uh, I tend to not be as inspired. Whereas if I put a, a tape in and I start messing around, like I I'll actually finish that song and like yeah. make something. Yes. Yeah. And you can you know you flip the tape over and do some reverse stuff like we have a lot in the album you know. Yeah. And um, and then there's just something about the sound. This is just my personal taste, I guess. The sound of uh, of just the really sketchy tape, like you know, you like I just there's something about it that I love so much. Yeah. And uh, and I'm always looking for new music online of new people who are doing the same kind of thing. Old stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like uh, Jack White. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And then see like see people like Jack White. You know, he's he's got like these super high end tape machines. You know, oh, yeah. which which are which are cool, and I think they're beautiful. It's kind of like a really nice car. But for myself, I'm kind of more of a like I, I if I'm gonna record on something, I want I want the 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 sketchiest lo-fi tape machine possible. You know, right, that, right. That works. Well, like I said, it lets the song come through. Yeah, you yeah. know, you're not a slave to the production of it. Yeah, and which we, is yeah, nice. As little editing as possible, just like make the song and. But then, but then with the album, it was like I want to make a really ambitious album on one of these machines. Yeah. It's always kind of like the thought is, well, if you're doing something like this, it's a stripped down, kind of like what we're gonna play now, like a stripped down kind of thing. But I'm like, no, no, I want to make like some ambitious, okay, con concept album that all flows together, and you know, just lovely. And that's what we do. So, did you want to start with something like that? Oh yeah. Yes. Well, Jim, what do you want to start with? I think I think we'll just start with Mosquito because that's the Mosquito, one, that's one of my favorite songs on the album, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Bucks Moonlight Revival with Mosquito. All right. Mm.
Okay, that was Mosquito uh, from Buck's Moonlight Revival. Now, um, when I first listened to this album, the first thing that came to mind was Double Fantasy, John and Yoko, oh, yeah. because they they traded songs, yeah. right, one yeah. after the other, and that's the kind of layer of this song. I believe I also called it a little schizophrenic, yeah. because, <laughs> right? Because yeah. you've got you've got sort of the straight ahead folky song yeah. like like Mosquito, yeah. and then you come in with with sort of like this interlude yeah, yeah. that's really fabulous. Um, but it's like two different albums almost. Yeah. Well, you know, what's, you know what's funny about that is uh, that's how a bunch of people described it, right? And the funny thing is that when we were making it, I didn't even think of it as I wasn't even I didn't even think of it as that. I think I was just I was just I was just kind of thinking like because the whole album was made with the idea of of not just like making a bunch of songs and then putting them together. It was like I want the first song to be kind of like this, second one to be kind of like this. Like I was thinking about that and side A is this, side B right. is this. Uh, so that idea, like that, it's the song and then the interlude and the song. Like I, I wasn't even consciously thinking about that. It just kind of became like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, this is the problem nowadays. Uh, I think for for so many artists, you know, is you make all this effort to make the album flow as yeah. a unit. Yeah. And yet, kid come kids come along and they'll download this song. Oh yeah, yeah. And ignore yeah. everything else. Yeah. And for you sure. kind of think, ah, yeah. it's like, you know, writing a book and somebody reads one chapter and says, this is crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just, no. It's like, you I can't... like chapter four the best. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So now you've got, you've got your harmonica, your guitar, oh, yeah. and Musical your saw. Song. Yeah. Wow. Now, I've, I've, I've only seen one other artist play a saw live. Yeah. Um, that was the Lifers. Do you know them? They're from... Um, I don't know. London, Ontario. Okay. Two sisters, and yeah, it's great. It's like I thought of this, and we talked about this earlier. It's 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 like an acoustic theremin, yeah. right? Because you can you can make all kinds of wonderful sounds with it, but it's just a damn song. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody gonna come up and play a hammer next. Yeah. It, it just. But as you told me, it, I mean, this is this predates. Yeah, it's so much stuff. Who knows how old it is? I don't know. Yeah, they think at least a few hundred years old. Oh, exactly, unlike a theremin, which yeah. is it's actually theremin is even, even a theremin's a hundred years old, which is pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. But uh, yeah, electricity did a lot yeah. for them. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, d- did you want to play us one of those sort of? And and I want to talk about the CD. Oh yeah. I uh, just because it's. <laughs> It's it's some of half of it's backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like Ice Wind, which I played last week. Um yeah, all the lyrics in the back are backwards. Yeah. Just just for fun to keep you guys on your toes. Oh yeah. And to, to, to help you read things, you yeah, know. Through a mirror. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but now you've put this, the, the CD's lovely, yeah. um, but you've put it on different things too, haven't you? You've put oh, it yeah. on uh, a cassette. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. just got her vinyls in. Vinyl, of course. But yeah. there was one other thing. Oh, real, real, to, real, real. to real. Yeah. 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 Just a small, tiny amount because we got to make them ourselves. Well, exactly. <laughs> and not many Very people niche. out there have real to real players oh, no. No. anymore. So, no, that, I mean, I, I, it was like because myself, that's my favorite format. You know, I collect all the formats, but yeah. real to real is like if I could, if there was one format, that's the one I really love, you know? But, yeah. um, you know, nobody puts out albums on reel to reel. No, they like, used to. Oh yeah, but he, but even but even when they did, that was like for rich people, and you know, mm-hmm. it was and it was it is so unuser friendly for most people, you know. Yeah. So yeah. That's why they came out with cassettes. They're like, well, here's a more user friendly tape. You know. Exactly. Uh, yeah. In fact, I had I had someone who uh, my wife was working with, whose son had died, and so she thought, well, this guy's a record collector, so let's just. And she came over and stuck in my mailbox two reel to reel 
production releases from Jethro Tull. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Cool. And it was like, well, all right, one of my favorite bands and on yeah. one of the oddest formats. Yeah. So uh, is that, I mean, because it is going to be an odd. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're, so you're not expecting people to come in and go, I need real to no, 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 no. We, we, we literally have five of them. Okay. I think we've, we've sold one. So you have to and pre-order one. them. Yeah. So you can sit down and yeah. make it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think five of them, one of them's for us. One of them's been sold. We got three more. Wow. Okay, folks, <laughs> get on it. Uh, okay, so what did you want to do next? I, can, uh, I leave it completely in your I hands. Think we'll play Plaster. Cause okay. I get the harmonics. Plasterer. Yeah. Great video for that, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just came out with it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got one from Mosquito, too. It came out a couple months ago. But, yeah. Yeah, and we got got more common. The idea is that the whole album is going to be a video. It's going to oh. be a movie eventually. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, my. The videos were made by our friend Steve Townsend. Yeah. Oh, so okay. shout out to Steve. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, so the plasterer. Okay. Bucks Moonlight Revival on Folk Everything. All righty. Plasterer. Whoa, from Buck's Moonlight Revival. Uh, th- that was that was great. Um, now you, it says based on the poems of John Kinsella. Yeah. So John Aloysius Kinsella is my dad's dad. Um, he passed away before I was born, uh, so I never met him in real life. But I have his poem book right here, and he wrote screenplays and comedies and I relate a lot to this song Plaster in particular um, because it talks about how he was a plaster at a psychiatric hospital Ah. in Hamilton and the lyrics kind of like while my body is engaged in monotony's pursuit my mind can turn its back on the walls of work and Eric and I by day uh, we are we have a small cleaning business okay Kingston home cleaning anyone yeah. looking for some cleaners. there you go <laughs> so competitive <it's>, rates <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> not to make good about that, but um, yeah, it's just I relate to that. Like I'm a very creative person, and um, there's something about like physical labor that allows your imagination to wander. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you kind of get lost in yeah. in singing and music and poetry, like whatever wherever your imagination takes you. So my grandfather, he sent his poems um, to different singer-songwriters of the day because that was like his dream. Like he sent it to Hollywood. He wanted somebody to bring this to life. So I get goosebumps every time I talk about it. I feel like we are like fulfilling his dreams. Absolutely. In a way. Oh, yeah. And also like being able to connect with him on a deeper kind of spiritual level through this process. Right, through a a personal, familial kind of um, support your family. Yes, it has been emotional for my family too. I know my dad's listening right now and it means a lot to him, so. Shout out to Kev. Shout out to Kevin Kinsella. Okay. (laughs) You can do that here, this is great. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. all local. Exactly. Um, Did you want to, uh, play a song do you want to take a little saw break yeah let's take a saw break okay yeah okay hey did you bring a uh, strap for your guitar yes i did oh you did okay i was just making sure okay let's get this saw. so uh, yeah we uh um i think this we'll do a cover that's what we got prepared for the saw okay but uh do the no saw. beach boys no beach boys <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Eerie, isn't it sound? Yeah, I like that. Sounds like a, some kind of wailing something. Yeah, exactly. Like a ghost or something. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, have we got a name for this? Yeah, this one, this song is called Shark Smile by... Oh, Shark Smile. Well, now you see, yeah. I found a video you of found that. found a video, yeah. yeah. Uh, done at, uh, at Musicki. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, people, people, uh, people like to... Because that was the song we played the saw, I guess, and then people were like, "What is that?" Thing? Oh, you know? okay, yeah. okay. So the saw makes the song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Are you gonna put this right here, Kayla, just so you can kind of have a little space, sure. or you can have the audio go through there? Yeah. Like good. Yeah. Okay. Time. 
Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was Shark Smile Live. Now, you're, um, you do play around town. Uh, we're trying to. Yeah, we're not as often as you'd like. No. No, but that's, uh, you know, that's we're, what we're happens when it. you're a pandemic band. Exactly. <coughs> we and, emerged and, in the, the shadows, uh, yeah, one might say. Exactly. It's these quiet noises coming from <laughs> somewhere out there. Uh, but then, you know, you don't want to saturate the market. No. 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 For sure. Don't want to be playing every night. That <laughs> no. it just gets silly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what, what are your plans for the future? Uh, plans for the future, or are you just winging it? We're, we're kind of sell all our gatefold vinyls. There you go. Over the next ten years. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, our plans. We just uh, lots of uh, online content, like some video stuff. Because I, mean, I make videos right. too, and uh, my friend Steve, you know, he, we we've been making videos since we were kids. So he's 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 working on the the rest of the music videos. I got kind of some more like weekly kind of music based things. Um, right. And um, we would love to play professionally, um, but you know, we're keeping an open mind yeah. because you know, everyone, but most people who play like dream of playing professionally, right? And you can't, you can't like hold your worth to that. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no? no, but by the same token, you know, you don't want to go giving up a job on a dream, yeah. No, you no, got to make sure that the dream has got some sense of reality about oh, yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the good lovelies, for instance, played for more than two years while retaining their day jobs. Oh, yeah, right, because that's what you got to do. But see, that's you know? why we own a cleaning business because it's Excellent. actually perfect. Because over time, you know, maybe if we get a little busier with the music, then we just hire some more people. Exactly. We kind of and it's not out. a nine to five. No, it's no. pretty. It's locked to it's a desk. It's ten to three thirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we should should we be ex- uh, keeping our eyes peeled on when you're going to play next? Oh, for yes, sure. Please. Yeah, people can follow or, us. You know, uh, Bucks Moonlight Revival on all the Instagram and all that, and okay, BucksRevival.com. Whatever. Have you got anything uh, lined up for? We're working on it right now. Okay. This is our main thing right now. <laughs> right now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, hopefully that uh, you guys can get out there and see them um, either before the new year or shortly thereafter because yeah. there are there are great places to play around, but it's just everybody wants to play now. Oh, yeah. Well, you know? and being a, a band that's emerged during COVID, it's actually a little bit more competitive because... People that are established musicians have been waiting now, oh, and yeah. it's like, who are you? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah oh, exactly. Well. <laughs> hey, hey, you get off my cloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, nobody has said that to us no, explicitly, no. but, but you, know. you know that there's that feeling out there, yeah. and it's not you. Yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now, is there a breakdown as to how these songs appear? How they are like uh, how, just how come out of out of the air? Well, I mean, is it coming out of both of you, one of you? Oh. I mean, the lyrics, obviously, are your granddad's. Yeah. Uh, are either of you lyricists, or you can oh. continue with this? Yeah, Kilu, uh, Kilu writes songs. Um. I wrote our, our first, when we first started dating, within two months, we had made a little album. Yeah. That was like six years ago. I Something like remember. that, yeah. It wasn't Bucks Moonlight Arrival, it was uh, another little project. But yeah, I wrote some songs back then, and I dabble in yeah, uh, dabble. creative writing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but for this project, I was focusing more on like how to sing, and how to bring get your, get your grounding down. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. The the way the album happened was a couple of years ago. Actually, it was it was more than a couple of years ago. Now it was almost almost three years ago in, in 2022. Mm-hmm. But I just uh, realized I really had to make, had this album I had to create. I didn't know exactly what it was. And, uh, and you know, I don't, I don't sing or anything. I'm just all musical. And I, that's how I see things, I guess. And then uh, over a couple of years, kept working on this thing and, and learning about tape machines and buying all this stuff and yeah. now we got all this synthesizers and you know, this is, off, this is a stripped down version of yeah, our, exactly. like our usual live show. Um, uh, and then, yeah, eventually we, you know, I knew Caitlin was going to sing on it. So I kind of, I did all like the instrumental on the album, you know, that's, that's like why, you know, during our, our, uh, our, our songs, I'm playing the, 
acoustic part right now is because we when we went to do play live, I was like, well, Kate Lou, Kate Lou, you can, you <laughs> like, can, hey, Kate Lou, play all the guitar. For yeah, me. You, like, I'll tell, like, I'll teach you how to do it, and then, it, then it was, it was like she was starting to figure it out, but it, it just didn't feel. It felt like you know what I think these songs, I uh, maybe our songs, I should be playing the main acoustic, you know, and and with a live show, we, I have tape loops and stuff. I'm using my foot pedals right, to right. Kind of bring them in. Um, you gonna teach her how to do the song? She, if she wants to try well. it out. <laughs> Don't catch herself. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, eventually, eventually we, I got Katie Lou to figure out how to sing on the songs, and we, we came up with the idea of using the poems, which uh, I think I think, I think Katie Lou resisted a little bit because she wanted to write the things. And then we, we just came up, we just realized, though, it's like, it just it's just so much, it's not that Katie Lou is a bad songwriter, she's a great songwriter, but it's like, it just makes sense to do use this it yes just, it just makes so much more sense and, yes and honestly we might do it for the next album too just or something like something so similar there's you know so so much so my many. grandfather wrote just like my dad uh spent last winter like archiving everything oh like, nice digitizing it yeah <clears throat> so yeah it's just like endless and yeah it just kind of gives me more freedom to maybe focus on expressing myself as exactly a if you've got the lyrics already yeah. then yeah. you're halfway home it just feels yeah. like it would be a waste to not use them yeah you know? well exactly yeah. i know that he would they're so good you know he would want it yeah yeah exactly wow. yeah he would want it yeah. good stuff well he tried yeah yeah he certainly <laughs> tried exactly <laughs> Okay, uh, so have we got time for one more? Oh, yeah. Yes. We can play Still Life, I think. Yeah. You want to play that? Still Life. This is my favorite song. Oh, okay. Yeah. Box I know Night everyone Revival. likes Mosquito, but, you know, well, this I, is more of a B side. Initially. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, there's that first rush. Oh, yeah. And yes. then, then after you've been listening to it for a month or so, you go, oh, no, you know, I really like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for and sure. That, and what's this called? Still Life. Still Life, Away We Go. All right. people go to get this the cd yeah uh, or the vinyl or the real or, real tape or yeah, the cassette all, or yeah uh bucks. or t-shirts or t-shirts t-shirts oh we got totes. everything 
We got, uh, we got totes coming. Holy moly, you guys are just... We got a bunch, off, off we got a bunch of random stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's we great. made a sizable investment. <laughs> Evidently. So, yeah. folks, go out and buy this. Yeah. Um, and they can get it... But BucksRevival.com. Or just, just Google Bucks Moonlight Revival. It comes up. Okay. www.BucksRevival.com. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, you can get it at Bandcamp? Oh, yeah, it's on there, too, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, one, there's, there's one little piece of information that... Um, Last time we were on another radio station, uh, shout out to Amherst Island Radio. Um, uh, one, one little piece of information I didn't uh, say that I should for my family uh, on my side is um, Bucks Moonlight Revival is named after uh, my great grandpa's band, Bucks Moonlight Orchestra from the 1920s. Great. Um, like we got the old drum kit there that says Bucks Moonlight Orchestra on it. And uh, that's sort of, we came up with this because my, my grandpa um, a couple years ago when they were selling the house, uh, we we were going through all the stuff, yeah. and they were, he was like, "Who wants this drum kit?" And we're like, "Okay, we get we got we have to take this drum yeah, kit." Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It's like a kind of priceless, so uh, that's where we came up with the idea for the the band. So, so you're honoring both your grandfathers yeah, yeah. with this. Yes, yeah. it's kind of like our families are coming yeah. together. Well, I would yeah. think so. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then my my grandpa died like a year ago, kind of before we finished the album. So oh. like, so like, that's the guitar we're playing. I'm playing as like his his guitar. His guitar. Oh yeah. man, so. this is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are really it's very representing. Meaningful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure making it, but that was good. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, it's know? good pressure because yeah. pressure you put on yourself. Yeah, I was like, I know, I like when I was kind of working on it for years. I was like, this has to be. If this is Buck's Moonlight Revival, it's got to be good. It can't be like. A techno album or something. Oh, you know no, I mean? no, exactly. <laughs> no oh my god, yeah. <laughs> or a thrash metal album. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? No offense to thrash metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I want to thank you so much. Did you want to do something else for you? I mean, I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, sure. I, I don't see. Oh, you know, should we do. Um, Mykonos? Maybe we should. We should do one more cover. That's a really good one. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. So this, this one, I'm just going to. Just one slight little tune change here. Okay, well, let's do that. Here. All right, so what's this one? This is uh, Mykonos by, um, uh, sorry, what's his name? Fleet Foxes. Foxes. Yeah. Uh, Mykonos. I think it's Fox. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is kind of like a route song we like to, good little outro. Oops, sorry, good little outro song, you know? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Gil. I think it's Fox. Yeah, I'm on seven. It's just different.
Okay. Mechanics Live. <laughs> live. It's Bucks Moonlight Revival in the studio with me. Um, and uh, they've just, well, just released their debut album. Yeah. And it's Corker, so go out and buy it. Yeah. You can you can go to their website, Bucks Moonlight Revival. That's a WWW in front of that. You know how to do that. <laughs> um, or you can go to Bandcamp and to pick it up there. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for coming in. And thank, thank you so much. Spending you time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, and you're going to have to let us know next time you're playing live somewhere. And, oh, we will, uh, yeah. and I will tell everybody out there. Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> Not that they listen to me particularly, but <laughs> that's okay. All right. Thank you so much. So, Caitlin and Eric, what a treat to have you in. Yeah. As I say, it's been over a it's been over a year since I've had anybody in the studio, oh, yeah. so no. this is really fun for me. All yeah, right. sounds good. All right, all right. So, folks, thank you very much for listening. I'm going to be here till one o'clock, uh, just sort of spinning stuff. So, stick around, and of course, don't forget, Laura comes your way at one o'clock right here on CFRC. Hi, this is Jessica from the Jessica Stewart Few, Idiotech, and Civil Ray. You're listening to Folk Everything with Hugh on CFRC 101.9.